we are going to be reacting to this one video from MTashed, and he makes a video titled, I do not recommend Kale. Let's react to that, because I want to give my thoughts about it as someone that loves Kale and is a potential Kale main. On top of that, being an Amber main, I feel like I should give my output on why I think otherwise. Him and I will have two different opinions about this, but at the same time, neither of us is right or wrong. It's just based on personal opinions and not to mention experiences. Hey everyone, Entash here, and I'm gonna just come out and say hey everyone. It. I'll talk I to you. would rather build the Traveler over Kali any day of the week, and that is what I'm planning on doing. But why not both? You can literally build both, and they're both free. Now, she still has some potential, which we'll go over in a minute, but I think that the Traveler is just going to be a better unit overall, and they're both free and available. Well, we're talking about Kale being a trainee character. She's basically just an underling of Amber. She is literally a person who was inspired by Amber to become who she wanted to be in Sumeru. She's basically the definition of the Barba fan club, but the polar opposite, the Amber fan club. You gotta think of the odds here. She's not meant to be super powerful. She is literally a support. Except you can get multiple constellations for this character without having to wish on the Tanari banner. There's a very course, good chance the that many of you aren't going on the Tanari banner. I know everyone looks at leaks. You're seeing Sino and all these different characters. You're probably not getting a bunch. I know that people were talking about Sino or whatnot. And I'm like, who in the heck is Sino? Bunch of Kali constellations. And so when you start throwing all of these free constellations in the mix, as well as the scaling from these different abilities, the Traveler becomes very strong very quickly. And I think that being a sword user as well, you can use Favonius. There's some different damage options. I think that he's going to be a great unit overall. You can even use something like the Iron Sting with Elemental Mastery and Elemental Damage Bonus, which is pretty damn good. I've got an R5 one here. I might even throw Iron Sting over uh, if I don't need too much energy. Even though I unlocked almost every part of Sumeru, I still haven't mained Dendro Lamine yet, and I play with Lamine. I still haven't swapped to Dendro yet, and I have yet to do so, but I guarantee you, because I've seen links before of it, it's pretty dang good. And taking a look at all the other past elements for the Traveler, whether it be Animo or Geo, Electro, I think Dendro would be way better than basically Animo and Electro. As far as Geo goes, that could be a 50-50 because Geo is really cracked on the Traveler. I'm not sure about Dendro, but I guarantee you Dendro is quite up there. Maybe even higher. I don't even know. Obviously, I shouldn't do a full review of the Traveler at the beginning of a Kali video, but I just see so much more potential here. And for people that have finite resources, just go with the Traveler, okay? But why do I say that? Now, you can get a free copy and try her yourself, or mm -hmm. if you are going on the banner, good luck. A free to play wouldn't pass up on this opportunity. I don't have promo gems at the moment. I was able to farm up to almost 3,000 gems when Sumeru came out. I still have yet to collect some more, but why would you pass up on the offer when you get a free character? The only one I passed up on was Aloy because they didn't really give a shit about Aloy when they ported her into the game. I know I didn't because, like, number one, I don't play Horizon Zero Dawn. Number two, I didn't really like the character design. Number three, even though she is cracked, I just don't care about her. But as far as Kali goes, knowing about her backstory, knowing about the fact that she loves Amber, she looks up to Amber, she is like good friends with Amber, makes me want to main her and level her up. Not to mention she looks really cute. And I don't mind. I don't mind that she's a support. Literally, I played with Amber for like two years now. I should be able to already be accustomed to her playstyle. As an Amber man, this is up my alley. I love Kale and I'm glad that she's in the game. I'm definitely going to main her and I'm for sure going to save up to level up my Traveler in the Dendra element. But there is also a rumor that they might throw her into the Spiral Abyss uh, later on in 3.1. Potential C1 Kale for me? Bruh, and, w and I wouldn't have to do any summons with my promo gems because number one, I probably want to try to get the weapon for her. And number two, I probably want to get another character. I don't know if it's true or not, but if they did, that would be pretty cool, allowing you to push into the further constellations to compete with Traveler better. But I'm going to show you a couple things that I don't really love. 
Now, her E ability is cool. It's a boomerang, good area. I don't even care if it doesn't do damage. I think the boomerang is a nice touch to Kale. Like, we have Amber's Baron Bunny, and then we have Kale's boomerang. Wave effect, it goes out, it comes back, it does dendro damage there and back. We like it. For me, as a person that mains Kale at, like, level 50, yes, I have her at level 50 because I can't really level her up any higher because I'm trying to farm. I only use her boomerang just to apply the dendro just so afterwards I can apply another element that reacts with the dendro to, you know, pop up the seeds. I think it was Electro that pops up seeds or it was Hydro. But at the end of the day, the seeds would basically explode on the enemies, which I really like. But once I get Kale's talents up and level up, she will be set in stone on that damage. But her main damage doesn't come from the E. It mainly comes from the ultimate. Her burst ability. Let's take a peek at that. Now, this is going to be the part that I'm going to be very based about because of my experiences with Amber. It can actually be pretty damn cool. You throw that out, area of effect, it's doing damage. This is literally similar to AoE as Amber's. It might be a little bit bigger, I don't remember, but at the end of the day, it's not that huge. As a person that mains Kali and Amber, this is not huge. I've mained Lisa, I mained Ganyu. Kali and Amber don't really have the most huge AoE, and they don't even move at all either. The only way to keep them in the AoE is to probably have a taunt out there like Amber that this will be very useful for once for Amber's Baron Bunny ability. Throw out the taunt, then you bring out Kale and then throw out the ult. Now they're all stuck in there looking at the Baron Bunny while being hit by Dandro damage, which is a thing you got to keep note on. And it's very useful and cute at the same time because they both have taunts and are just cute abilities. Definitely when I level up Kale, I'm going to put Amber on the team. And I'm going to just throw out Baron Bunny, throw out Kale's alt, and then whatever happens next, we may never know. But it makes me more excited to main Kale for sure. And it gives me a lot of ideas on what kind of characters to throw with Kale. And I know for damn sure I'm putting Amber on the team because this is where Amber and Kale together will be super useful. We're getting some reactions going inside of there. We like this. The AoE isn't huge, okay? Uh, it's not the biggest thing I've ever seen, and when you compare it to the AoE of the Traveler, it's a little bit underwhelming, especially if you- Now, I haven't seen the AoE of Traveler. I might have, but I don't remember. What is the AoE of Travelers? <laughs> oh, that AoE is huge. It's basically like Ganyu's- But when I look at her constellations, and I look at her talents, I'm not sold on this unit. As someone you should build right this second. Even though he doesn't recommend it, I'm still going to level her up. Because like I mentioned, I'm a Kale man and I'm an Amber man. I love both of them. They are both cute. They have cute abilities. No matter what anybody says about her, I will keep maining her because I'm that based. Jun -jun -maru. Yahoo!